Hi, welcome to iOS 101. Um, we're going to be looking at some of the finer settings for the mail contacts and calendars um, within the iOS. Um, so let's launch up settings app. We're going to be looking at this on an iPad, but if you have a different iDevice, if you have an iPod Touch or an iPhone, don't worry because you know the settings are pretty much uniform across the iOS now. So um, let's take a look. If we navigate across to mail contacts and calendars, you can see what I'm talking about. Further down, we have um, here the mail settings specifically and contact settings and calendar settings. Okay, so as mentioned, here we have the accounts that are configured with the um, with the iPad. Underneath here, you can add an account, and you know we've looked, we've looked at this within the article. Selecting your account type will take you to um, you know the credentials page, and once these are verified, your account will be good to go. Um, importantly, this is the fetch new data section, which um, you know if you have push notifications. If you're sorry, if you have an account that's push enabled, rather, you need to have um, this toggle switched over to on here. If you have, um, if you don't have push notifications, you know, for your particular email uh, service provider, so say like if you've got AOL or something and you, and, and you can't get push working for it, then you're going to have to set up a fetch schedule. Um, as you can see, you know, you've got the choice of 15 minutes, 30 minutes, or hourly. Um, however, if all of your email accounts are push enabled, so you've got a Gmail account, say, and a, and a Microsoft Exchange account and a Mobile Me account, then you need to just have push notifications on and fetch set over to manually here. And this way, your iDevice won't be wasting battery by, you know, fetching unnecessarily. Because obviously, if you've got a push enabled account, the email is going to come through, you know, you know, instantaneously almost. So that's something worth noting. But like I said, we have talked about that in the article. So make sure you read the relevant section if you if you're not sure. About that so here are some of the the more more you know intricate settings that we briefly mentioned in the article um here at the top i'm going to quickly run through them show this is the um the recent messages shown within the mail application so if you don't archive messages or delete them straight away they'll be shown within the mail app this here section allows you to decide exactly how many recent messages are shown within the mail app so you have the choice of 25 50 75, 100, and 200. The default is 50. I've, I've left it on 50. In fact, you'll, you'll notice that for pretty much all of these, you know, more finer settings, I've left the defaults as they are because I don't really feel the need to change them. And I think that you'll probably, uh, for the most part, agree. Next, we have preview. So this um, allows you to toggle how many lines are previewed within the mail app. So if we navigate over, I think I've got, where's the button here? I think I've got an email university email you can see here that there are two lines displayed underneath the subject the email subject so by toggling this particular setting across as you'd expect to five lines nice bit of multitasking there five line preview is displayed so totally your choice you know whatever your personal preference is like i said i've left mine on two lines because that's more than enough for me um now we have even you know some even more uh you know some more settings here you can customise. This is the minimum font size. The default is medium. Um, I've left mine on medium. Totally fine, but you can change it if you want. And uh, now, two toggles here, which by default are set to off. The first is a show to or CC label, which you can you know switch on for when composing mail. You can have a, a label there at the top. The next is ask before deleting. Uh, you know, if you want it, you can toggle it on. If you don't, then just, just leave it as it is. And underneath, the next two toggles by default are switched over to on. And really, I think you're probably going to want to leave these as on. You know, load remote images, organize by thread. It just makes uh, your inbox a more, you know, a more tidier place and, you know, makes it work better. Um, and this is also by default set to off. Always back copy myself. So if you want to have back copy emails sent, you know, to you, that's fine. If you don't, then, you know, leave it. So the next two sections here, we have, not we have noted within the uh, main body of the article. So the signature, by touching this, you can change the default cell from my iDevice signature to anything that you want. And you'll notice that when you actually compose new mail for the signature, it's, signature, it's already there for you, which is handy. If you send a lot of mail from your iDevice, then that's handy. Also here, the default accounts. So you can choose which of your accounts um, you want to use as your default. So basically this means that when you send mail straight off, and reply to mail, then you can see the default account is here. Obviously, by touching that, you can do that, you know, change across to whichever account you prefer. But the default account is always labeled 
is always um, you know used first off. Back in the settings app, I'll jump in, quickly skirt through the next part. This is the contacts part. So here you can choose the sort order and display order for your contacts. By default, it's um, you know last name, first name for sort order, and then alternatively, it's, it's first name, last name for display order. But touching on these can change it for you if you want to. Um, calendars here, we have new invitation alerts, which by default are set to one, which ah, I've left them as on. And time zone support, and also your default calendar. So, I mean, personally, I don't use uh, calendars, the calendars app, all too much. I probably should because it's it's a good application, especially on the iPad. But um, I've left it as it is. Here you can see the time zone support, default calendar. These are the many calendars that I've, you know, in the past attempted to integrate with my iDevices, but you know they don't really do it for me. So that's the uh, mail contacts and calendars part of the settings app in a nutshell. If we jump over to the mail app, we'll just run through a few quick things. Obviously composing a mail, hit this top right corner on the iPad and on the iPhone, I believe it's in the bottom the bottom right, I think. Um, and you know, immediately start typing the name of contact and you'll come up here with that contact's name. So when you cancel, if you've already inputted something, maybe in the body of the email or a contact name, you have the option to save the draft. If you save it, then it'll be saved within the drafts folder. Um, if not, delete it. So touching on an email, we'll open it up. Here's an email I've got, a university related email. Here we can reply to that email, forward it, print it, reply all, replies to everybody within the mailing list. Additionally, we can move it to a folder, which is the furthest on the left, or we can delete it. I'm going to read that later, I think. Actually, no, you know what we'll do? We'll put it in the trash and I'll check it out later on. Okay, so you'll notice now that we've navigated all the way back to um, all, all mailboxes. Ah, oh, what? Delete. This is an exchange account and it's it, it's a bit it's a bit difficult but yeah so we've no we've gone all the way back to the um the main screen here for for all of your mailboxes this is a feature that was added in iOS 4.2 um you can basically see all the messages that you have across all inboxes by hitting this button and you can filter it by you know particular mailboxes by touching on the relevant mailbox further down you can access all of your account uh folders by you know hitting accounts this is my app advice account folders so we can see all my folders here go on you know trash or there oops sent you know we can go through and uh, and check all of those out so yeah that's pretty much the um mail app and and settings in a nutshell if you have any questions let me know in the comments below okay thanks bye